you can golf anytime, anywhere with this. What's happening, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda here. I just picked this up. It's a deluxe executive golf course. It's just a single hole. Looks like we have bunkers and a green and you move this little ball down the hole. But the nice thing about this is it's nice and small. You could take it with you wherever you go, but it just is a cool little thing that you can have on your coffee table in your office, golf anywhere, get that fix so that you don't get the withdrawal shakes. So let's open it up and see what it's like. All right, let's see if we can build a golf course right here on the golf course in the house. All right, so as I pull this out, looks like we get a bunch of stuff. As a kid, me and my buddy in school would actually just take sheets of paper and draw little golf course holes on it and draw like bunkers and water. And then you would just hit with your finger like a penny along the course. And if you went into a bunker, you would have like one extra stroke or if you went into water, it would be two extra strokes. And it was just a fun way to pass the time. Eh. I was easily amused as a kid. And here is where we get the big stick. So this is metal. I think it's just a piece of cast metal here. But as you can see, it's a driver, it looks like. It's got the little frappings, the old school ferrule on there. And I don't know, seven inches long or something. And then it looks like we get little ball bearings, I guess, for the, the balls. I guess that makes sense because you want them to have a little weight so that they will slow down as opposed to just bounce everywhere. You get three of those, you know, just look like standard little ball bearings. Then we have a metal post here for the flag, a little vinyl sticker on there. And then here we have the hole itself. This is actually pretty light. It's like a bent sheet metal. You can see here brushed finish. You can see that there's a little lip, so you don't have to worry about the balls rolling out. And then we have, it's not felt, but it feels kind of like it. A little astroturfy grass on there. And then we have, you know, some bunkers. It's actually like having a miniature golf course. And then we actually have this part where this is the green, apparently. That's like painted on the felt. So a little darker green, and then we have a pretty big hole about the size of my thumb. I'd call that about the size of a dime. And then you can put the flag in here. So it's not that you can't see the flag from back here, but how does it work? So if we say we tee off from back here, just like that, see the flag right there. That's pretty cool. Looks like a little golf course. And then if I go ahead and just hit it, Oh man, that was so close to a hole in one. <laughs> right out of the gate here. We'll tell you, they do slow down quite a bit here. So, oh man, slow greens today. Kind of rained, I guess. Let's see if I can get it around there. Ooh, nope, didn't do it. But if you do hit it into the bunker or something like that, it's going to stay in there. And my guess is you have to hit it out of there, right? If I hit it in there, do I have to it out? I would think you might. I don't know if you get any relief from the edge, but I'm going for that hole in one here. Yeah, baby! Hole in one, I called it. Hey, pretty fun, man. If you want to pick this up, play a little golf when you are not busy, only when you have free time at work. I'll put a link to this in the description below. Peter Von Panda, out! We can discover more and explore so much deeper